What's up gaming heroes? Welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. Today guys, I want to cover a bit of how to make gold as a casual PvP gamer. This is just a series I kind of got in mind about casual gamers and how they can make gold if they've only got literally one hour per night to play the game you know they're very busy in their IRL lives they've got a job they've got all this stuff going on and it's just difficult for them to make gold whilst also playing the game because obviously if you've got one hour a day to play the game you might not just want to spend that one hour making gold you might want to play the game and have a bit of gold making on the site so today guys i'm going to cover some great and brilliant strategies that you can use as a casual pvp gamer to make loads of gold in world of warcraft as always please feel free to check out gaminghero.io which is a website that i own and manage and a whole team of gold makers and writers come together to write awesome gold making guides for the community check that out let's dive into the video so first is first guys as a PvP gamer, you want to bear in mind there are certain things that you can purchase that you can sell on the auction house. So you will buy this for honor and then sell it on the auction house. Let me just go over to the right side of the uh, of the map. Let's hand this quest in real quickly. Lovely. There's my weekly quest complete. Okie dokie. So over here in Dornagol, which is on the map, you can have a little look there. Cool. Uh, we can go to on and you can buy recipes which you can sell on the auction house using honor so you basically buy it with 7500 honor then you sell it on the auction house and you can get a hefty chunk of change yeah like 50k for this one which is crazy and i mean there's tons of recipes guys so there's actually a strategy here where you could literally just go through one recipe at a time buying every single recipe and sticking them on the auction house until you get sales and that's that's literally all you would do like that's your your whole goal of making gold in world of warcraft you could do it like that it's very casual however one strategy is working really well at the moment is this one the vicious bloodstone this sells for like five thousand gold at the moment a couple days ago it was selling for six thousand gold as you can see i've sold them before for six thousand gold i've sold them for six thousand four hundred Often after a weekend, they do tend to be a little bit lower in price, but let's not worry about that too much right now. However, this is really, really awesome. The Vicious Bloodstones, they do sell really well, and I get one Vicious Bloodstone every two battlegrounds. This means that I typically get about 1,250 to 1,400 honor per battleground. That's a not a normal amount of honor to get as a PvPer from battlegrounds and i want to cover how i'm doing that so that if you are a casual gamer you love a bit of pvp you can potentially make some gold on the side of doing pvp so here is a strategy that you can use and it's worked for me for many expansions first tip use a class that has lots of aoe for me personally i love doing this on a balanced druid or a fire mage or a warlock or any kind of like class that i can put lots of dots on targets or do lots of aoe damage it works really well being an unholy death knight actually works redonkously well because you can put loads of dots on loads of different targets you can pull targets in these types of really cool things if you're going to play as a melee class try and play as a tanky class as it does enable you to survive a lot better so let's go to consumables and just type in honor Okay, so it says Vicious Flask of Honor. There is other ones as well, like such as the, I believe there's one called Wrecking. Yeah, so let's just type in Vicious. There you go, Vicious Flask. Okay, so there's three that I can see right now. And there's one here that increases your mana regeneration. It also gives you 15% increased honor. There's a basic one that just does the honor only. And that's also pretty good. That's the one I tend to buy personally. Gives you 15% honor gains for one hour. And then you can get the wrecking uh, ball one. Players killing blows increase your damage dealt by 8%. And damage taken by 4% for 20 seconds. Stacking up to five times. If you were slain with a fetch or a silence, take a portion of this power. Basically, it just makes you stronger as you get more kills. Which could actually be good. I'm going to buy 10 of these. Why not? Um, I can afford it won't be a big issue cool so we've actually got 10 of those now i want to take you over to stormwind uh which is a, a major faction city but i'm pretty sure that all cities in the alliance and the horde have this we're going to go over to stormwind and i'll meet you there 
Okie dokie, so we are over in Stormwind City and we've flown over to the Guild Master basically shop. This is where you can form a guild and do edit things like your guild tab and things like that. And to do this, you kind of need to make sure that you're in a guild. So if we press J, I've obviously got a guild on Silver Moon EU. If you want to join my guild, everyone's welcome. The more the merrier. To do this, you ideally want to join a guild and then level up a little bit with your guild in order to get certain things like access to these flags of cooperation. These are the three flags that we're aiming for right now. So if we go to the guild vendor and you've leveled up your reputation to friendly um, with your guild, you should have access to buy those. We go over to the vendor, the guild master vendor right here. You very simply buy the banner of cooperation, which only gives you 5% increased honor. Uh, you also buy the standard of unity, which gives you 10% increased honor. And then you also buy the battle standard of coordination, which also gives you 15% honor. So the way that I will use this is throughout the battle at towards the start of the battle, I will typically use the 10% honor. And that gives me a two minute cooldown before I can use the next one, uh, which is then the 5% one, and then lastly, just before the battle finishes, I will then use the 15% battle honor increase. That way, all the way through, in every large team fight situation, I'm getting increased honor versus all of my allies and everyone like that. They're also getting a little bit extra as well. But on top of that, I've also got the flask, which is already increasing my honor exponentially. So let's join a battleground. Let's farm some honor and let's see how we get on. See you there. I do want to know that you can do this with random battlegrounds, but you won't get as much honor as you will for random epic battlegrounds. The reason random epic battlegrounds do so well is there are so many people to slay, therefore you're getting more honor. And the overall thing that you can do here is put all your dots on all the enemies and not need to worry about a single thing. It's so awesome and I love it. I actually like to get one win on every single one of my alts that I can possibly do it just to get honor that much quicker amongst them all. It's also lots of weekly quests that you can do in Dornagol from the PVP quest givers and that will give you additional honor, additional things like that. It's definitely worth doing. I do want to know if you are getting kind of unlucky with your factions, like let's just say you're going up against Horde who are always seemingly winning. Um, why don't you just come over to the Nassar Mercer Mercenary Recruiter right here in Donegal and just change to fight with the opposite faction? So what I do, and now when I sign up for a battleground, it'll sign me up as Horde instead of Alliance because I've got a Mercenary contract. And I can basically team up with Horde against the Alliance. And then that way, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. I've done, f what? three battlegrounds maybe four battlegrounds this morning and we've lost every single one to horde so i'm kind of sticking to uh, to switching to horde now just to to get a little bit of success in this morning Ooh, we've got ourselves an alteric valley but it does look like i've joined into a loss which is always a bit difficult now the good thing about about alteric valley is that you can actually um you can win it as almost a solo player, there's certain things that you can do that if you are good enough to do, you can win the whole battleground. So one of those things is going and capping each of these um, these bunkers, so to speak. You can cap them or towers if you're Alliance. Uh, if you cap them alone, uh, people will come and try and get them off you. But if you can defeat them and stop them from getting to them you can easily win this for your whole team. So that's what we're going to be aiming to do here with this battleground. Okay, so I can see straight away what the problem is here. We've got a large, large, large amount of people in that bunker. Um, and we've got loads of people here as well. Where is our, our Audi allies? They're kind of all in the bunker here. Um, and we've got no real backline which is going to be the difficult thing. They are spawning here from this graveyard, which is kind of good. So I am comfortable to open up here. Let's actually start um, taking out that healer if possible. There you go. Well, all we're trying to do here is put, put the dots on everyone. I'm going to put the 10% uh, honor buff down for everyone here as well. And hopefully we can make a bit of a stand here, grandstand against these guys. We can actually push up and take that tower, hopefully. Right, I do want to be careful not to die here. So I'm going to back right off back right off here not taking any risks with dying whatsoever not feeling that situation 
I will come back in, get a couple more dots on. Okay, we are actually really low on health. I'm going to have to be careful. That paladin really wants me, it seems. Beautiful. Okay, so it does actually look like we're starting to push these guys back now, which is pretty awesome. It's just, again, whittling them down with tons and tons of debuffs, loads and loads of dots constantly, and eventually we will take them down. That is the beauty of this strategy. I'm just putting tons of dots on them. They just can't outlast that. They can't outlast it. Look at that. They're struggling to, to outlast that. So what I'm going to do here is actually come, come in close, and then I'm actually going to Cyclone the healer. And cycloning him so he can't do anything then when his allies all back off, he's dead. There's nothing he can do. Zero he can do. Yeah, he's dead. Brilliant. So getting rid of this, the healer was just like the perfect strategy. Now we've done that. We've got to take this. We've got to, I'm going to ping to my allies. We have to take this because that is super important in order for us to try and take the win here. Um, that's going to be absolutely vital. So I'm going to stealth to come in here so I can get the lay of the land, see what's happening in here. Step on the outside a little bit. Okay. Right, we're okay here. We're just going to take this nice and easy. Great, fantastic. Just going to run around the outside, make sure there's no one here. Okay, so we've got our first one. That's brilliant. Uh, we are a little bit... Um, we are winning, technically, here. So we are doing pretty good. Um, in this next major conflict, I'm going to be putting down a 5% uh, buff, which is going to be probably perfect. So uh, let's get into our next fray. Okay, the horde seem to be pulling together. This is a typical horde thing where they do just play a little bit better for, for my, my, my shard anyway. They seem to play a little bit better together. I put a flag down just there. It's probably a little bit too early, but I'm happy with it there because a lot of the times you do fight on this straight and narrow and I've got two minutes until that next one can go on. So it's not like I'm going to be suffering from uh, doing it too quickly. I prefer to have one down somewhere. There's going to be people up on this hill, so we need to be a bit cautious and thoughtful about that as well. This, uh, this paladin is very annoying. What I'm going to do is actually gonna cyclone him because he's wasting people's time. Sometimes you do just need to cyclone a target. That's like a perfect strategy to just get rid of someone that's causing you inconveniences. Okay, great. Again, there's a, a healer here. We're going to cyclone him up. And then everyone's going to notice him after a few seconds. Boom. Get another cyclone on him. Lovely jubbly. He's down. Sometimes you just need to cyclone the, the, the most significant targets because they are the ones that are kind of screwing it up for everyone. Okay, so now, important, we're going to take these two next bunkers. The next bunkers are super vital. Hopefully, these guys maintain everything there and we can win really well if they do. All right, so it's looking like, yeah, they've got that bunker. They've got both bunkers here. We were actually onto a really good straight and narrow here, and it's just a, a simple matter of, of out maneuvering them they are trying to take that one back okay i'm pinging it because we need to get in there quickly damn they got it back they took it back i'm running back out because i need need help i pinged it a bunch of times so hopefully we will get a few more people coming to help out okay i'm going to go in to to get back in there get a few dots in these guys without being in close combat okay that's definitely going to whittle her down and now we're just going to nuke them into, into nothing into nothing and that paladin is next Lovely jubbly. Okay, so people are going to take that and cap that. Brilliant. Okay, and it looks like we're going to go for the, the main win now here. I want to get in there quickly, as fast as possible. And I want to put the big flag down. Probably in a minute. Not ready yet. Doesn't look like everyone's in there yet. Yeah, at the moment, they're just pulling them out and trying to kill all the Alliance. So we don't really need to concern ourselves with putting the big flag down quite yet. We do pretty good here, though. This is definitely a good step in the right direction. When we want to do it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set focus on this healer target and I'm going to cyclone him when we actually get in there. That's going to be the key. But what we're waiting for right now is to take all of these uh, these towers. These towers are absolutely vital to us for us to win. Okay, we managed to take one of their DPS out. Okay, when I do, I'm going to need to go on from the left so I can make sure to get the cyclone on the healer. Okay, the Alliance are certainly catching up, so we do need to be a little bit cautious. All right, the second these two towers go down, we win. So it's it's quite simple. It, like, the second those two towers go down, those bunkers, we, we win. That's all we have to do. Take the towers down, and then win, win, win. They're trying to do the same, though, so we do have to be cautious of that as well. They could still win this, but hopefully with the amount of defense we've got, we'll be okay. Okay, so it looks like 10 seconds, and we're good to go. I am actually going to pop down this big flag right here. Boom, big flag is down. 
So we've got 15% increased honor gains now. Uh, do we have the potion on? We do. We've got 15% increased honor as well. And now we're going. Okay. The, the healer is going to get cycloned. Okay. Healer is cycloned. Brilliant. And he's dead. Oh, excellent. No messing about. Now we are going to win this. That's it. Like that. We've got all the, the buffs on. We've got the 15%. We've got the 15% potion. We've got everything. This is really, really good. Lovely jubbly. And just like that, we win. And like that, guys, we actually got 2,000 honor right there. 2,000. And that is pure and simply because we got extra bonus honor from having the flask and then also having the battle, battle standard. Extra honor. Why wouldn't you do that? And I joined a little bit later into the match where I actually thought this might be a loss. But we pulled it back. We pulled it back and we did really well. I kind of wish this would tell us the bonus honor that we got. Is there a way to tell? Oh, it does. It does tell you. That's so cool. So it doesn't tell. It doesn't exactly tell you, but it also does. So let me show you. Um, so if I pull my webcam up, you can actually see in the, the chat how it says I got 1,470 honor. But if you look here, I got 2,075 honor. That basically means we got a thousand no 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 not a thousand we got 605 bonus honor from just having those two that's awesome dude so let's go let's go bye 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 and whilst you're doing this you can also check if you've got uh war mode turned on uh whether it's time for the um you can also check whether it's time to grab the f the pvp chest that randomly spawns and is dropped throughout the world map that's always a good idea because you can actually get um, some pretty nice little rewards from that as well. Okay, so let's open up the Glorious Contender Strong Box. And did we get much? What did we get from that? Let's just uh, go down to the bottom. We got Mark of Honor and we got Forged Combatant and a Stolen um, Blindfold. <laughs> cool. So <clears throat> we've got six of these Marks of Honor. Can you still turn those Marks of Honor into Honor, I wonder? Just raw Honor? <laughs> Have a look. Is it even possible? doesn't say if it is possible, but I can buy another one of these gems just like that, dude. Just like that. I'm chuffed. That was only like a 15 minute, if that, uh, battleground. So it really does like, it does work out to like quite an, a nice sum. Okay. So here I can buy marks of honor for just normal honor, but I can't do it the other way around. Okay. That's a shame. So yes, if you are having the best of luck, when you're dealing with, like, if you're an alliance, change to horde using the mercenary contract. If you're not having best of luck as a horde, change to alliance. You may as well enjoy the game at your pace, right? I'm going to sell another one of these at 4,700. Just like that, dude, I'm making so much gold from a casual perspective here. It's so awesome, and I absolutely love it. Let's just have a little look. What I, um, have I already sold that? Yes, we've got 9,000 coming. Just look. Boom, boom, boom. Already sold it. I just put it up. Just like that. It's ridiculous how much gold you can make as a casual gamer. I truly hope that you casual PvP gamers and people like that have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button and uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this. See you in the next video. This is Rosium. Out.